Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee in black. Really nice, exceptional looking vehicle. It is a Laredo, and uh, but it does have some cool features on it. It's got the chrome grille here in the front. We've got some fog lights. Has the alloy wheels. Four wheel disc brakes. Now look at that tent. That tent really helps out. Makes it look really sharp, especially with the black color with the black tent. Tires look almost new. Really good set of tires on it. Does have a luggage rack on top. There's a towing package. So before I go do too much on the inside of the vehicle, I just want to show you this proximity key and how it works. Here's the key itself. And basically all you'd have to do is have the key with you. Now you can use it to unlock and lock the doors if you want to, but you also you can just keep it in your pocket and, uh, and just walk up to the door. Now the doors are locked now, and I'm going to put my hand on the door handle and it'll unlock. Now only the driver door unlocked, so I can just walk up, get in here, and, uh, and drive away okay so once I get in there it does have a push button start so I can push button uh, start the vehicle drive around and park it and when I'm done close the door push this button relocked without taking the key out of my pocket so that's a good good feature um, to have uh, that way you don't have to take your keys out put them in the door lock and all that good stuff so as long as you have your keys it'll sense the key and, uh, and you'll be able to use your vehicle um, without actually taking the keys out of your pocket or your purse. Now I'm going to go ahead and un unlock all the doors with the key itself so we can look here in the back. Now it does have a really good cargo area in the back of this vehicle. Really good size. And those seats do fold down in case you need some more room back here. Now you do have a, a pocket, pretty good size storage pocket there. There's a power supply, so you got some tie-down places there. And there, you have a rechargeable LED flashlight there. There's another storage pocket to the left. You got some tie-downs right there on, on all four corners. Now, underneath here is your spare tire. Now, it does have these little cargo bins, and they are removable. So, let's see if I can do this with one hand. You take them out. Um, you put stuff in them. You can dump them out, stuff like that back in and, uh, and there's two of them in here so you do have some usable storage space around the spare tire without really worried about the spare tire getting stuff dirty too much now they do have some cargo mats that that lay back here to help protect this carpet if you're really using a lot of um, you putting stuff back here all the time and you want to save the carpet now it looks like somebody had already had a cargo mat in this vehicle because of the back of the or they just never used it very much because everything looks perfect back here, almost like new. Here's another one of those lock buttons to lock the whole vehicle. All right, here's the inside of the back door. We've got a uh, water bottle holder there, a um, nice big speaker there, window control, nice wood grain trim here. Here's the back seats. This folds down, you got armrests as well as some cup holders. There's some vents back here. Net pockets in the back of the front seats. Those are always handy. Now just to show you, um, I'm going to go ahead and fold down the, the seats so you can see that you can still have a passenger there or on this side and do expand your um, cargo capacity. Pretty good, pretty good amount of leg room too in the back seat. Here's the inside of the front door. We've got some pockets and water bottle holder there. And a speaker. Here's your door lock controls, window controls, side mirror controls. Got a little tweeter speaker there. Wood grade trim here. There's your power seats. Power seat controls there with lumbar support that goes, you can fine tune it up and down, in and out, and all that good stuff. 
does have automatic headlights and there's your fuel cap release and your fuel cap is right there it's on the driver's side which is always convenient now the keys in my pocket still I'm gonna go ahead and hop in put the seat back a little bit now in order to use the push button start all we have to do is put my foot on the brake push the button starts right out keys still in my pocket now here's your steering wheel and shut the door steering wheel has some buttons here on the right hand side you've got your cruise control settings here on the back of the steering wheel I have a volume button which the radio has to be turned on I'm going to turn the volume down goes up and down on this side you can change stations or cycle through tracks on a CD or something like that so I'm going to go ahead and turn it down here's a uh, some see these arrow buttons and a back button that corresponds to this little menu system digital menu system here between the two gauges and look at the mileage 24,757 real low mileage vehicle it is uh, does have a digital compass here on the top left digital temperature on the top right right now it's set for um, digital speedometer but I'm gonna go back out of that and kind of go through just to kind of show you the different options here in the menu system I'm gonna go to vehicle info because there's a lot of stuff in there that gives you your coolant temperature oil temperature oil pressure transmission temperature engine hours so stuff like that I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the vehicle speed because that's what that's the most useful while you're driving but a pretty neat little menu there and of course when you open up the door you see a little red car there and it shows the door opened so you got some different um, information it's like a little information center there there's your wiper controls there steering wheel is like a leather wrapped stitched has a pretty good thickness to it it's comfortable and the interior is like a tan and like a like a brown I guess you can say similar to like a chocolate brown I guess and then you have like a um, wood grain trim there hopefully the colors show through in the video sometimes they don't but anyway let's go ahead and move on to the here's the radio now sometimes when I'm recording the readout on the radios will flicker and it looks like it's doing that a little bit now it's not actually flickering in real life it's just because of the camera refresh rate so anyway here's the radio it does have Sirius satellite radio has auxiliary input here and uh, has uh, you know satellite radio and it's not equipped with um, with Bluetooth for the phone I know it has a little phone there but it's not equipped with that it does have a CD player it also plays mp3s here's your climate control settings here you do have a du dual climate control for driver and passenger um, there's a traction control button and your uh, four-way flashers down here we've got like a little storage compartment it opens up it's supposed to open up there it goes and it has a 12 volt supply in there as well as some storage space there's your shifter cup holders a little storage space here's your armrest lifts up you've got a little uh, felt padded area there the other button opens up the whole thing and you have a uh, you have a 12 12 volt supply a power supply in there as well as some storage space there is your felt lined uh, glove compartment it does have like a little storage space here in the top up here we have a place to put your shades tap lights as well as a little spotlight you got a big floodlight spotlight there's a rear view mirror now the visor does have a mirror with lights same thing on the other side all right 
see what kind of warranty we have left here. We do have some remainder of the factory warranty. Let's look underneath the hood. It does have a 3.6 liter Pentastar engine. Looks pretty nice and clean. Pretty good amount of space in there. You can see most everything. So I want to give you an idea of the vehicle. Um, if you're interested in it, you want to take it for a test drive, let me know. My name is Mike and my phone number and the email address will be in the description. See you next time.